proceed. Deputy Shane Castles. Thank you, Ken Corla. Taoiseach, the opening line in the programme of government under the energy section states that it is clear that there is a need for much better engagement with citizens and communities about the energy policy decisions that affect them. Opening line. Last Thursday at Dublin Castle at the Airgrid Annual Conference, Minister Kine told the Airgrid people that the decision by Umbor Pernal in Christmas week to grant permission for 400 overhead pylons through Meath, Cavan and Monaghan was one which the authorities in both jurisdictions, and I quote, are clear in their support for this vital element of electricity grid infrastructure. Taoiseach, there is no support uh, for how Airgrid are proposing to make this connection through the impacted counties, and the elected members from councillors to TDs have registered their opposition. So can I ask, has that line in the programme of government about listening any meaning whatsoever, or is the government, as Minister Kine put it, clear in its support for Airgrid's 400 overground pylons? Taoiseach? Certainly not. The government always listens. Pardon, Taoiseach? Certainly not. The government always listens. Listens carefully. So are you clear in the support, Ciarán Are you clear in your support for the overhead pylons? Uh, is, we have an all-island energy situation here. Uh, there is a need, of course, for development of the proposal from the northern end as well. There is a process to be gone through here which is independent. The, pe the people could hear that, right. Taoiseach, never mind anyone else. Deputy Louise O'Reilly. It's indicative, it's indicative, can call off the people not being listened to. It's a serious matter. Deputy Louise O'Reilly. <laughs>